My name is uh, Jack Harris. It's lovely uh, to be here at the Haberdashery again. It is lovely to see that my irrational backstage demands have made it as far as before the gold rush. He won't even go on stage unless somebody strings a full set of bunting around him. That uh, is what it says in my contracts. I'm glad to see you've been reading those. Uh, otherwise, you know, uh, we'd kick off. Thanks everybody for being out. Uh, this is a song about a uh, famous fictional Irish woman. Uh, see if you can guess which one. Hey Molly Bloom, I'm at Rock and Roll. How many men you've had inside this room? You confess under mild duress. How many your dress is hey, Molly Bloom. Say yes. Hey, Molly Bloom, if these walls could sing, they've seen the way you work that thing. And the brass 
that squeaks and these mouth that scold. How many times this man has been cuck holding hand money bloom unfold Hey Molly Bloom, where's your good man go? When you're off kissing at the Moorish wall, they'll walk about your loving, you'll have your it might as well be me as anyone very much. At this stage, uh, some of you might be thinking, this is all very well and good, but where is he from? Uh, my accent uh, is, is a puzzle, I think, to most uh, people, or at least that's the way it seems. I'm from mid Wales uh, originally, but I did spend uh, a good portion of my life in Ireland, uh, mostly because of an Irish girlfriend I had at one stage. Her name was Maria. You're not supposed to name people's names in these stories, but I have done now, and it's something you can't unknow. So, good. Uh, and Maria, uh, in a classic example of Irish Catholicism in action, was the youngest <laughs> of 11 children. And uh, this meant that she had many, many nieces and nephews and so forth. And we spent a lot of time uh, with one of those nephews living, as we did often with her uh, middle sister in the city of Derry, which is a great place. And uh, Connor, uh, which is the name of the kid, again, you know, his real name's here, but you're never going to meet him, so that's fine. Uh, Connor was a kind of, he bucked the family trend insofar as he was an only child. And... After the fashion of some only children, stereotypically, Connor was spoiled. I mean, Connor was actually an appalling young man, but he was, he was spoiled, that's what he was. And he was spoiled predominantly through the medium of computer games. Connor had in his room uh, an Xbox, uh, a Wii, uh, the PlayStation thing, a 3, I guess, and uh, also a laptop. And his life was, was spent doing those things by himself. And, like a lot of kids who grow up playing computer games, Connor was bright, but he lacked a certain social nicety. It was uh, a problem only when he would let me play uh, the games uh, with, with him. So we would mostly play a game called Call of Duty. <laughs> so if you like rueful, like off. Oh. Uh, but uh, Call of Duty, if you don't know, is a game where you're a man with a gun and you have to shoot other people with guns over a predetermined time limit. And by the end of it, whoever shot the most men with guns is the winner. And uh, Connor uh, was ruthless at this game and he didn't realize and didn't care that since I was a kid, computer games had changed and all the controllers were different. And there was a lot to figure out. So games with Connor would consist of him hiding in a tree and just raining bullety hell down on me for about 10 minutes <laughs> as I tried desperately to figure out what was going on. Connor, can you, Connor, can you just let me, Connor, can you, Connor, can you please, Connor, my youth, my youth. Uh, until you just wished uh, kind of, you know, got out more. Um, uh, so anyway, that, that went on for some time uh, until the day that Connor came back with a new game, and the new game was Street Fighter 2. Now, hands up, yeah, 
Hands up who played computer games in the 90s. Good, yes, come on, don't be shy, people. I'm going to be throwing these little uh, at you. I certainly did, and, I, and Connor uh, proceeded to, to, to challenge me in his cocky little way. He said, Jack, come and play this with me. I beat Can. Can is the best. You'll not beat me with Can. I am great. I am great at this game, and you'll not beat me at all. If you are Irish, I apologize for the ridiculous voice. <laughs> But that is how you sound. So uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I jest. But uh, I thought, yeah, all right, Connor, let's do it. Because Connor was young and stupid, and he didn't realize that I grew up playing Street Fighter 2. Uh, you just need to be E Honda, the sumo wrestler character, get them in the corner, 100 hand slap. Long story short, I caned the little fucker for about an hour and a half solid. I think now it was probably the best thing that ever happened to me. Uh, I think, on balance. Uh, when, when I wasn't uh, teaching 11-year-old children the value of uh, humility, I was writing songs about the place, including this one, which is called Donegal. Donegal. <laughs> Touched by the fading day sun And all the boys at the port called you mom All for the way you did run And your labors were light As you danced about the harbor You gave me your kindness and all And you were gone for the moon Reached the top of its ladder Make my 
I'm going to play my, uh, my, my trump card here. We'll get Emma back up on stage to come and sing a song with me. Yeah, that's really what you're supposed to do with Kathy Clubby. It's a little bit tall for you, Emma. That. Oh, no, no, there we go. Stand up. How straight. are you? You well? Fine. Yeah, you're up for this? Yeah, yeah, feeling good? Thank you. Cool. He's very straight up right uh, This uh, is a song from my record, uh, which I do have uh, for sale. The album is called The Flame and the Pelican, and if you want to know why, uh, you buy it, and uh, you'll, you'll find out. Uh, this is a love song uh, from the record, uh, themed around a garden vegetable, and uh, it's called Potato Flower. <laughs> When I listen to potato flower thrown purple on the hill, we may understand the state of mind bold to a lover's will. We listen to their peaty mouths all mingled in the meal, and the song there in their tubid voices. i 
glean the song that sings inside the door. Thank you so much uh, for being such a lovely crowd. I really do appreciate it. I mean, all of us out here doing the semi-professional folk music thing are just trying to palm out our own respective uh, corners of the musical sandbox, and it's, uh, it makes it seem a little easier when there are people like you here. I want to thank uh, Steve and Nina for having me along this evening. It's been great. Uh, yeah, a big round of applause, I think. <laughs> My name is Jack Harris, and now like a Ryanair flight that goes between Newcastle and London, and if you've missed that journey, do get on it as soon as you can. It's a rare and beautiful thing. I have a short space of time to sell you everything that I possibly can. If I were a Ryanair flight, that would include little disgusting bags of liquor, scratch cards, smokeless cigarettes, and everybody's favourite, the Girls of Ryanair calendar. I don't know if you've seen it. It's a not-so-subtle combination of scantily clad air hostesses and heavy jet engines, uh, but uh, people seem to enjoy it, and good luck to them. Uh, I instead uh, have uh, CDs, they're over there, uh, they cost a tenner, and uh, it was a record I made a couple of years ago, and uh, lots of what I've done this evening is on there. What, what, what dot jackharrismusic.com, or if you just Google Jack Harris Music, the whole pageantry of the internet uh, opens up in my favor. So, you know, do that and stick in touch. There's a mailing list, there's Twitter, there's Facebook, there's you porn. There's, uh, <laughs> there's, uh, one of these is made up, but you have to find out which one yourselves by searching uh, carefully. And, you know, when your mothers aren't looking. Uh, it's been really nice uh, playing for you all. Do come and say hi. And I'll leave you with the um, often anticipated, sometimes dreaded, uh, relished in equal measure, audience participation part of the set. This is a song written in 1968 by a band called The Band. Yeah. Yes, it's a flag for a friend right there. And uh, the band were amazing, uh, and they, this song, the, the, the proverbial hell, was sung out of this by a chap called Levon Helm, no longer with us, uh, sadly. But uh, see if we can do this. I got a feeling that old, uh, old Ned Roberts knows the words to this. I got a feeling that he knows what I'm gonna do. I think maybe some of you do too. Um, if you wanna join in, See if we can uh, call a few angels down here. It's called The Wait. Thanks very much for listening. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Thanks, everybody. You look after yourselves. I pulled into Nazareth Was feeling about half past ten I just needed some place Where I can lay my head Hey, mister, can you tell me where a man might find a bed? He just grinned and shook my hand, I know, was all he said. And take a load off, Annie, and take a load free, and take a load off. Put the load right on me. Lovely. I'm gonna do that about eight more times. <laughs> I picked up my bags. I went looking for a place to hide. And then I saw a common and the devil walking side by side. I said, hey, common, come on, let's go downtown. I gotta go, but my friend can stick around. Take a load off, Annie. Take a load off.
take a load of free, take a load of fatty. Yes, you put the load right on me. Looks waiting on the judgment day. Well, look, my friend, what about young Natalie? He said and do me a favor, son. Won't you stay and keep Natalie company? Take a load off, Annie. Take a load free. Take a load. Crazy Chester followed me, and he caught me in the fall. He said, I'll fix your act if you take Jack my dog. I said, wait a minute, Chester, you know I'm a piece of mind. He said, that's okay, boy. Won't you feed him whenever you can? Take a load off. Take a load for free Take a load off Fanny Just the promoters I... Yes! You put the load right on me You see, they're great, look at them Catch a cannonball And I knew believe it's time to head back to Miss Annie. You know she's the only one who sent me here with the regards everyone. Take a load off Annie. Take a load free. Take a load off Annie. Big finish. The low ride on me. Thank you very much, folks. Look after yourselves. Stick around. You've been.